Please welcome to the stage the chairman and CEO of Automobili Lamborghini, Stefan Winkelmann. Buongiorno. Buongiorno and welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lamborghini. It's good to be back in the US. It's good to be back at the Quay Lodge. And for sure, it's good for me to be back at Lamborghini. You know, my heart is very close, thank you, very close to this uh, company, to this brand. Because it's brave, authentic, and it's really unexpected all the time. We have a proud history in Lamborghini, and in fact, in uh, the year 1971, so 50 years ago, uh, there was the launch of the Countach. And uh, it was a car which was a game changer, but not only for uh, Lamborghini, also uh, for the entire automotive uh, super sports car industry. But before I go ahead, let's do the unveiling of the car. So I'm asking Mr. Reggiani as our Chief Technical Officer and uh, Mitya Borkat, our Chief Designer, to do the job. Maurizio Reggiani and Mitya Borkat. So ladies and gentlemen, the all new Lamborghini Countach. But why have we done a modern interpretation of the Lamborghini Countach? There are two main reasons. One is, let's say, the design elements, and the second one is the layout. If I start with the design, there are two things which are very important for Lamborghini since uh, the Countach was launched 50 years ago. So the first uh, is the silhouette line, how we call it. And the silhouette line is a long, dense line which is going from the top of the car until the end of the car without a bend. And this is something which is very typical. Then the second one, if you look at the car from the front, it has the typical wide or large shoulders of the super sports cars. And unlike other super sports car manufacturers which have bubbles as uh, greenhouses, this one is very squared. So you have you know, uh, horizontal lines and this makes Lamborghini very recognizable until today. So even if you might not know what Lamborghini is in front of you, you can immediately recognize that it can not be nothing else than a Lamborghini. Then the second thing is the layout. Since the cool touch, um, the, the engine is put on, in a longitudinal way in the back of the car, so the cabin moved forward, and so this is the typical layout of the modern super sports cars. And then for the first time with the Countach, we had the scissor doors. And from then onwards, all our cars, all our V12 cars, are made with scissor doors. So this is, in a nutshell, why we are doing it. Then the name, uh, the car, the full name of this car is Lamborghini Countach LPI 800 and Dash 4. Countach is not the name of a fighting movie. I think most of you, you know, but let me explain. So it's an it's a expression of an Italian uh, dialect. It's standing for wow or beautiful, uh, some uh, surprise, positive surprise. And uh, so it stuck to the car, and this is why it was named Countach. LPI is standing for Longitudinale Posteriore Ibrida. So Longitudinale Posteriore is the position of the engine, so uh, Longitudinal in the back of the car. And Ibrida is standing for hybrid. We have a super capacitor, uh, which is attached to the gearbox, which is delivering three times more power than a normal uh, battery. And uh, you know the, the original internal number of the project for the Countach was 112. So this is the reason why we are going to produce this car only 112 times. And guess what? They are all sold. So it's very positive for us and for the brand that uh, these cars are all sold. And uh, if I look at my left hand side, here we have the Aventador Ultima. So this is the very last edition, last of a kind, of our beloved Aventador. We are going to do 250 Rosa, like they, uh, it's the car standing here, and 350 coupes. 
they also these are already all gone. In a blink of an eye, they were all gone. And on the right hand side, we have the Lamborghini Essenza SC V12. Essenza is standing for the fact that it's an essential car, it's stripped to the minimum because it's a track only car. And the SG is standing for Squadra Corse, so the Squadra Corse, so the motorsport department of Lamborghini developed that car. So it's an incredible car. And last but not least, on my right and the far end, right side, is the Huracan SETO, which is standing for Super Trofeo Omologata. And uh, this car is very easy to drive, so a street legal car, but it's at home on the racer. So here we have a display array of all of our naturally aspirated engine, engines, uh, three times the V12, one time the V10, and what I can promise you also for the future is that we will always deliver cars which are performing, which are beautiful, so designed in the best possible way, and delivering emotions all over. Now I would like uh, to welcome some of my team on, uh, on the stage. Come on, guys. Because I... The 18. So, on my right hand side is standing Alessandro Farmeschi, which was the CEO of uh, Lamborghini here in the Americas for a long time. Now we take him back home to Sant'Agata. He did a wonderful job, so he's our pride. And uh, we have uh, a lot of plans for him in the future in Sant'Agata. On my left hand side we have Mr. Balbi. Mr. Balbi is going to be the new CEO. I think Alessandro left a perfect field and we have a lot of trust in Andrea Baldi and I think he will do a very good job. All the other gentlemen I think you know, Federico Foschini is our chief commercial officer. We have Maurizio Reggiani, Mitya Borcat. We have Tim Bravo, our uh, chief uh, PR uh, manager. And then we have Christian Masso who is our um, marketing director. Well, thank you very much, guys. Thank you all for being here and for Salamurghi. Grazie. Grazie.